Hey everybody, AmpRepairGuy.com here, 203-892-4119. Here we have a Heathkit SB200. Already started taking it apart. Looks like someone added an operate lamp, standby lamp, and an operate standby switch. So, he wants me to put the Harbach filter cap board in, and do all the other stuff I normally do. Problem is, I have to take a picture of all the wiring for these lamps. Unsolder everything. Same for the switch. Back here. So, has a soft key installed. We will change the grid loading resistors, the mica caps between the grid and ground. He wants me to wire it to 220. Change the electrolytic, change the plate blocking cap, rewind new parasitic suppressors, clean the rotary switches and the TR relay with deoxy cold, compress the tube socket clips, clean them with deoxy gold. He wants me to change the circuit breakers. I told him they look fine, but he, he I guess he had ordered some, so he wants them replaced. So I'll replace those. He wants a LED lamp for the meter, so I ordered one, bayonet style. So, that's about it. It'll take a while, a lot of work, but I'll get her done. I always do. So, I'm going to get to work and I'll be back. See you guys soon. Hey everybody, AmpRepairGuy.com here. So we have the Heathkit SP200. It's all finished up. Those indicator lamps did not work. They're sealed. I couldn't get them apart. So a uh, customer is just going to have me plug the holes up. Has the standby operate switch still. I never do stuff like this. This was already like that. So he provided some Harbach kits he had me install. Put the soft start kit in, the soft key was already in here, put the new fan kit in, I solder and heat shrink everything, comes with wire nuts, I never use those, I always hot solder and heat shrink, put a new electrolytic in, clean the, I cleaned the rotary for the multimeter, touched up on some solder joints, checked all the hardware to make sure it's nice and tight. Clean the rotary switches, deoxy gold, relay with deoxy gold. Wow, new parasitic suppressors. He provided the plate choke, put a new plate, I'm sorry, a new plate blocker. Put the new plate blocker in. The plate choke screw had a little tiny one in it and it snapped. The ceramic was damaged at the bottom. It was just barely catching the thread. So I got that out and I put a longer screw in, put a little bit of silicone on the thread to act like a thread locker. I spent some time to compress the compressing the uh, the clips on the tube sockets because they were really loose, and you don't want a loose connection on the grid pin on each socket. That's not good. You run into problems there. So I got that all done. These are Citron tubes. He also provided those. It's the Harbach filter cap board. Meter protection diodes. So, he provided new circuit breakers. The other ones were fine, but he wanted them changed anyway. He, he said he just wants to get it all done. You know, he doesn't want to have to worry about anything in the future. So, like, no problem. So, I got it done. Changed the grid loading resistors. Brand new 2 watt Allen Bradley 33 ohm carbon comp type. One per tube. Changed the mica cap, the 200 puff between the grid connection and ground and here and here there's the grid loading resistor on this side grid loading resistor on that side check the SO239s they're good everything else checks out good just have to change the jumper over to 240 put a plug on the end for 240 and plug these two holes up and this thing is good to go Next stamp will be a Yesu FL2100B. So stay tuned. Please like, share, and subscribe. 
lots more to come. Take care.